In this video, we're going to talk about pH and pOH. And um, it turns out that what pH and pOH is, it's a simple mathematical operation, which we're going to show you in just a second. And that simple mathematical operation converts the uh, a concentration which can span a large range. We can talk about concentrations ranging from uh, one molar all the way to one times ten to the minus seventh molar. So, or you know, uh, that would be neutral, and then all the way down to one times ten to the minus fourteenth molar, for example. So, this concentration spectrum that we have, uh, this enormous range, fourteen orders of magnitude, gets to be a little bit hard to under, you know, it gets to be a little bit hard to interpret when you have such a wide range of numbers over such a large scale. So what the pH and the pOH does is it uses a log scale to collapse this scale from 14 orders of magnitude into just a simple um, set of numbers that range from 1 to 14. So in this case, this would be 0 to um, 14 all the way over here. So in what we're doing is we're collapsing this very, very large range of 14 orders of magnitude into a smaller range of just 14 numbers where we use a log scale um, to co condense this. So when we want to define the pH, the pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of H3O+. Plus. And so if you notice, we're using log base 10. And so when we do that, the way that you can kind of think of this when we, t when we do a log base 10 is if we had 1 times 10 to the minus 7, when you use log rules, um, what this is, what's going to happen to this is when we take a log, uh, if we do log of 1 times 10 to the minus 7, we're going to get the log of 1 plus the log of 10 to the minus 7. So the log of 1, most of you will recognize, is just 0. And the log of 10 to the minus 7th is the same thing as saying minus 7. And so since we're taking the negative of the log, if we take a negative of negative 7, that's just going to give us 7. So in essence, what we're doing is, is we're using the, the log scale to bring the exponent down and turns it into a number. So the exponent basically becomes a number. So if our concentration was 10 to the minus 14, that would mean that our pH would be around 14. If our concentration were around 10 to the minus 3, that would mean that our pH would be around 3. So that's what, how a log scale works. And the way that you would calculate that is by taking the negative log and then typing the concentration in after that and pressing enter on your calculator. Okay, so we can start to think about this in terms of the pH. So when we have, we know that when we have a neutral solution, so when we have neutral, uh, acidic, and basic, our neutral solution, the concentration of H3O plus is going to be 1 times 10 to the minus 7. So in a neutral solution, our pH is going to equal 7. You can plug that into your calculator and prove it to yourself, but it's going to be 7. So in an acidic solution, the concentration becomes greater than 1 times 10 to the minus 7. So if you pick a number, like say for example you pick 1 times 10 to the minus 4, what you're going to find out is that the pH is going to be a number that is smaller than 7. Because if you think about it, the as we get larger than 1 times 10 to the minus 7, this order of magnitude is going to go down. We're going to have minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3. That's going to be a relatively smaller number because um, these are negative exponents. So in this case, when we become acidic, the pH becomes less than 7, which means that we're more acidic. And when it's basic, we go below 10 to the minus 7, so this would be something like 1 times 10 to the minus 9. And if you remember, what the log scale is doing is it's basically bringing that exponent down as a number. So this is going to give us a pH greater than 7 uh, on this log scale. So when we, when we, we can look at the pH very quickly and tell whether we're acidic or basic depending on where we're, whether we're greater or less than 7. We can do the exact same thing for pOH. It turns out that the pOH is equal to the negative log base 10 of the concentration of OH minus. And we can come up with the exact same scale for uh, the concentration of OH minus. So at neutral, pOH is going to also equal 7 because the concentrations are equal to each other. And with pOH, the law, when we get into acidic conditions, it's going to be the opposite. So the concentration of OH minus is going to go below 7 since um, the uh, concentration of the um, acid goes up. So the concentration of the base goes down. And so we're going to have a pH greater than 7, P pOH greater than 7 for um, basic conditions, and we're going to have a pOH less than 7 for basic conditions. 
So those are the two relative scales, and they're calculated the exact same way. And they trend opposite to each other, and I'm going to actually show you the relationship here and how we can figure this out mathematically using kw. Okay, so if we want to work with K the kw expression, but we want to turn it into a log-based expression, what we can do is we can take the negative log of both sides. So if we take the negative log of kw, and we take the negative log of the concentration of OH minus times the concentration of H3O plus. So we're doing we're taking the negative log of both sides. From log rules, um, the right hand side, we're gonna when you have two things multiplied by each other inside of a log, what we can do is we can turn this into the negative log of the concentration of OH minus plus the negative log of the concentration of H3O plus. So when you have two things multiplied by each other inside the negative log, that's basically log of OH minus plus the log of H3O plus. And then I can distribute the minus sign across. So we get minus the log of OH minus plus minus the log of H3O plus. And so if you look at these, this is the same thing as saying PKW. So whenever you take the negative log of anything, whether it's the concentration of H3O+, plus, the concentration of OH-, minus, you could take the negative log of the concentration of iron if you wanted to and get P-iron. Um, but in, in any event, if you take the negative log of anything, whether it's a concentration or the KW, we can get a what we call P of whatever it is. So we get PKW here. Uh, this becomes POH. And this becomes PH. So what we get is we get PKW is equal to POH plus uh, PH. And this is going to make sense in terms of what was going on before when we saw those trends with the PH being greater or less than 7. So if we take the negative log of 1 times 10 to the minus 14, which is the KW, we're going to get for this 14. And so um, this 14 is going to be equal to the POH plus the PH. So let's say, for example, we have an acidic condition where we have a pH equal to, let's say, 4, which would be a concentration of H3O plus equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 4. And so this is definitely, le this is definitely greater than 1 times 10 to the minus 7. So our concentration here for pH is acidic. So if we plug that in, 4 plus pOH is equal to 14, that's going to give us a value of pOH equal to 10. So when the pH is equal to 4, the pOH is equal to 10. So we see this balancing act again. When the pH goes down or we become more acidic, the pOH goes up, um, indicating that the concentration of OH- minus has gone down. So this scale is a bit opposite to the normal scale, but it's still, it's still the trend holds true because of the way the log works and the way that it's a negative log. So we now have two equations. We can now either use 14 is equal to the pOH plus the pH, or the other way we can do it is we can cast this in terms of concentration and say that 1 times 10 to the minus 14 is equal to the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of OH minus. These two equations are equivalent to each other, meaning they're going to give you exactly the same answer. It's just that one is, in, uh, one is casted in terms of pH and the other one is casted in terms of concentration. So if you have to calculate a concentration of OH- minus from a concentration of H3O+, plus, you would use the lower one. If you were given a pH and had to calculate a pOH, you can use uh, the other. And so that's how this, this scale works. So let's look at some examples of how we can work with um, pH and pOH. And this is important because we need to practice uh, doing the math of calculating a pH and a pOH. Okay, so the first example says calculate the pH and pOH of a solution in which the concentration is H of H3O plus is equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 6. And so in this case, if we want to get the, the pH, we can take the, the pH is going to equal the negative log of the H3O plus concentration, which is 4.0 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. And when you do that, you're going to get a pH equal to 5.40. And so from this, what we can do now is we can say that, okay, well, once we know the pH, we can say, well, 14 is equal to the pH plus the pOH. And so from here, we can say, well, 14 is equal to 5.40 plus pOH, and we can get a pOH equal to 8.60. Now, another way that you could have done this was you could have taken KW 
and figured out the concentration of OH minus by dividing 1 times 10 to the minus 4 by the concentration of H3O plus, and you'll see that you're going to get exactly the same answers. It really doesn't matter how you do it, whether you convert to pH and then solve it this way, or whether you use Kw, uh, the 1 times 10 to the minus 14 is equal to uh, 4.0 times 10 to the minus 6 times the concentration of OH minus. They're both going to give you the same answer. Okay, now this is an important one because we're going to go in the opposite direction now, and I got to show you how to come out of a log. So this one says blood plasma is has a pH of 7.4. What is the H3O plus concentration and what is the OH minus concentration? So we can get from, so if the pH is equal to 7.4, we can subtract that from 14 and get that the POH is equal to 6.6. .6. Now the question becomes, how do we convert this to a concentration of H3O plus? So how do we go in the reverse direction? So if you have a pH, and this is equal to the negative log of your concentration of H3O+, plus, the way to do this is, what you can do is you can take the negative sign and bring it over, and so we can get that the negative pH is equal to the log of the concentration of H3O+. Plus. And then what we can do is we can take 10 to both sides. So if you take 10 to the negative pH, and you take... 10 to the log of H3O plus, this entire thing cancels out. And so what we get is that the concentration of H3O plus is equal to 10 raised to the power of the negative pH. And so if you plug that in, if you take, if you take uh, 10 to the negative 7.4, this is going to give you a value of 3.98 times 10 to the minus eighth molar. And we can do the same thing for the concentration of OH minus. We can take that we can say that this is 10 to the negative 6.6, .6, which is going to give us 5.1 times 10 to the negative seventh molar.